Hey, I'm going to read um, chapter four, the last part of it, Girl Without Borders. And um, of course, you know, every fiction is got some autobiographical stuff in it. <clears throat> and um, this one does, of course. And there was a bar in, in Chicago called The Empty Bottle, probably still there. And um, I used to go there a lot. And um, I actually did know a guy who had the word psycho tattooed on his chest. And I did think that was pretty ridiculous, but um, to each his own. Why don't you move somewhere where the bathroom ceiling doesn't grow mushrooms, Will asked Cass, where you don't have to walk through an alley full of flies and trash, further from the crackheads pushing shopping carts and rocks, further from the cracks you're always falling through. Want to check out a show? She asked. Why should I? Fine, don't go. Can you drop me off at my friend's? Whose place? Not Psycho. No, not Psycho. He's in Florida, silly. That's a real nice word to have forever emblazoned on your chest. Did his friends tie him down? Or was he passed out? Are you coming or not? Fine, I'll go. Promise not to use me to make some asshole jealous. Girl Scout honor. Promise not to talk shit about me behind my back, Cass. I promise. Where are we going anyway? The empty bottle. Good, good, fine establishment. Critics' choice. Hmm, last show. Who did I see? Alkaline Trio, you and your courier friends. No, it wasn't them. I remember the dyslexic Englishman. That was the name of the band? Who was dyslexic? Shakespeare? Winston Churchill? Prince Charles? No, Billy Childish. The guy who carves wood and writes honest, vulgar poetry, among other things. That sounds childish. There's a dyslexic child in this all, Cass, begging to live. Chapter 5 On stage, a violinist faced his band, drew his bow, and started the swing show with a slow draw. The dark faces and watery eyes in the woodwork began to thaw, oil cans of beer in their hands, and the violinist kept his back to them, points of his boots rocking into the floorboards, thumbs in his jean loops, his t-shirt visible in the V rising above the collar blue shirt, two buttons down. Cass was all but catatonic. Will had bought her a couple of beers, which she took to the bathroom with her. You having fun, he asked between sets. Great fun. Oh, it's wonderful here. Good energy. Will, you want to dance? No, no thanks. What's wrong? Are you mad at me? Well, you invite me here, then spend half your night in the ladies' room. It's not my fault you don't know anybody. There was no arguing with her. Just let her go. He looked around and did see a couple of familiar faces, had a few words with some of his courier friends, had a few words with a girl who drew him in at the bar. The band was decent. Then, late into the night before the show ended, he left it all behind. The noise, the drama, and Cass spilling her drink on some guy who wanted to fuck her. <laughs>